as we launched the MCC Nepal compact with the entry to force today. The projects under the MCC Nepal compact being launched today were designed by the government of Nepal in partnership with a partnership with MCC and this program will help to enhance the ability availability of electricity, facilitate power trade between Nepal and the region and reduce transportation cost in Nepal. The program is based on the principle of ownership, mutual accountability, transparency and sales prosperity. It will be open up a new chapter in the infrastructure development to help spur investment for economic growth. As we are aware, these projects are being implemented with an investment of US dollar 197 million from the government of Nepal and US dollar 500 million grant from the US government. The successful, successful implementation of these projects will set a precedent for other infrastructure projects in Nepal. MC Nepal has undertaken extensive preparation in, in advance of implementation to ensure implementation of projects within the five-year timeline. In addition to significant progress toward the toward land acquisition and forest clearance, MC Nepal has launched major procurements for construction work to begin on time. The MC Nepal Board of Directors as the executive governing body will closely monitor progress over the course of five year timeline and we are confident that the projects will be completed on time and within the budget. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the MCC for providing this one of the largest grants to support infrastructure projects in Nepal. These projects are expected to address some of the constraints to our economic development. Finally, I would like to appreciate the efforts made by all stakeholders including MCC, MCA Nepal and team for the achievement made so far. I request all stakeholders to actively engage in future as well for the successful completion of the project. Thank you. Uh, my colleagues from the U.S. Mission, the distinguished members of the press, it's really such a pleasure and an honor to be here today and to be part of launching this uh, really historic and amazing effort. I'm going to be very brief. I really want to make sure we have plenty of time for Vice President Alfred and for the Minister's remarks and, and a full accounting of what, what it is we're looking to do together here. But I thought it was worth just taking a moment to reflect a bit on what it was to get to this point and, 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 and really how critical it is to understand the, the mechanism and the, and the foundation of the Millennium Challenge Account Program and this project in particular. This is very much a strong partnership that was led and driven by the Nepali government, by its desire to grow its economy, to find the highest impact uh, projects and possibilities for the people of Nepal. And we are really pleased and proud to partner with Nepal in driving this process forward. The process itself has been methodical and transparent, consultative at every stage of its development, and something that any member of Nepali society can go to our websites, can go to uh, uh, background information that we've produced, and see exactly how it's going to run, be implemented uh, from the starting point today to its completion uh, within the next five years. And then finally, as the Secretary mentioned, I think very important to continue to point out, this is grant based, uh, a grant-based effort that is focused entirely on the uh, improved and, and, uh, and, and uh, energized economic growth for Nepal at a time that I think is very critical uh, for Nepalan's economy, for developing uh, opportunities for its workforce, Nepal is a young society with a brilliant future in front of it, 
And this project is going to power that future in a big and powerful way. So thank you very much. Uh, let me say, swagacha. Uh, I'm really pleased to be here uh, in Kathmandu today for truly exciting milestone uh, in the program uh, where we are able to turn on the five-year clock and drive towards implementation with some of the elements that, uh, that my other colleagues have, have referenced. While we don't have time, and frankly it'd be a bit boring, uh, if I talked about everyone's contributions uh, in the room, I would be remiss if I didn't particularly uh, thank the minister and the secretary for their leadership, their engagement, and their involvement. Um, but maybe let me address the involvement of the government of Nepal more broadly. Uh, and that involvement has, of course, been across governments. Um, and really, its commitment to ensuring that this program meets the needs and priorities of the people of Nepal, as the ambassador referenced. Uh, and let me give just a couple of examples. You know, that's everything from uh, support to the establishment and ongoing accomplishments of the MCA. Uh, that's the transparency uh, and the commitment to inclusive consultation with communities uh, that are affected by the infrastructure works on the uh, projects. Uh, that's designating the energy transmission project as a national pride project, uh, setting up the regulatory environment, strengthening that. I could go on and give many other examples uh, of that. Uh, and for that, we appreciate, uh, appreciate the work. Look, we, we've been steadfast partners, uh, MCC and the government of Nepal, going back to the earliest days of, of compact development. And so it's really apropos that we're gathered here together uh, to turn on that, that five-year clock. I can say that for MCC, we are confident going into implementation based on that strong collaboration and preparation uh, that we've undertaken here. Now, is there a significant amount of work ahead? Absolutely. Will there be issues? Undoubtedly. But because of that strong collaboration and the preparation, I look forward to five years from now being able to look at the results of what we've achieved, being able to talk about a stronger power sector that has increased reliability of electricity uh, to the people of Nepal, increased power trade uh, back and forth between India uh, and Nepal, all while protecting the environment uh, with respect to the roads project, right? Ensuring uh, road maintenance and preventing deterioration uh, of roads along the strategic road network. Uh, which, as we all know, is, is critical to maintaining low transportation costs uh, that benefit. Right. So let me say we are proud to be partners uh, with a country as vibrant uh, as Nepal. And we're also really proud of this program and this investment, which together is nearly $700 million, uh, an investment into the bright, bright future of the people of Nepal. So again, congratulations to everyone, and let me say, Danya Bhatt. Vice President of MCC, Mr. Alpur Kandrun, Excellency Ambassador Thompson, Secretary, Joint Secretary, Board Member of the MCA, and uh, other representatives who are present here. Today, clock starts. Five years clock starts today. And we are very <coughs> glad that this is happening. We have gone through so many ups and downs, doubts, questions, but finally we are satisfied. Those who are doubting, they also felt that this is a good, good project. We have this passed from the Parliament of Nepal. And now, most important thing, we will start implementation. And today is a day five-year date 
start today. That is why I am so glad and happy that this is happening, this important milestone we have achieved, and the launch of the MCC Nepal Compact, a program co-founded by the U.S. government and government of Nepal, in tune of 700, uh, 697 million dollars, of which 197 million dollars is contributed by Nepal. I'm hoping that we don't have to spend all those, all that 197 million dollars. It took a long and rigorous preparation. I take this opportunity to express my gratitude to the U.S. government, MCC, and MCA Nepal. And I'm thankful to the U.S. government for choosing Nepal. And for a long time, we, we are asking for infrastructure projects. Because in terms of infrastructure, Nepal has to do a lot. In terms of roads, in terms of transmission line, in terms of many other infrastructure project. I'm glad that the two major infrastructure component is covered with this MCC supported project, roads and transmission line. Why we are, we are saying roads? Because we need descent roads so that People, not only people are connected, but also they, they should be able to engage in businesses and production activities that they can take it to the market. That is why road project is important for us. At the same time, transmission line is important for us. We have good hydropower potential and we are going good in terms of production, but to take that production to the market is crucial. That is where importance of transmission lines come. That is why major component of this project is transmission line. <clears throat> we are confident that both the transmission line and road maintenance project will showcase an example of successful project in Nepal and contribute to economic growth. 315 km transmission line circuit is expected to strengthen the electricity supply system and overcome inadequacies in the transmission line infrastructure. We sincerely believe that the transmission lines will facilitate cross-border electricity trade between Nepal and India, helping to spur investment, accelerate growth, economic growth, and reduce poverty. Similarly, the old maintenance project would help enhance Nepal's current practices in the maintenance of road with the introduction of climate smart and sustainable technology. MCA Nepal, the government of Nepal, in, entrusted with program implementation has completed most of the preparatory work except difficult land acquisition work. I trust MCA Nepal will work hard with focus on remaining work and complete and time utilizing all earmarked funds. We, we arrived at this launching event today after a decade long collaboration and joint efforts of the government of Nepal and the U.S. government. Actually, Nepal was selected as eligible country for MCC Compact back in 2012, after which the agreement was signed in 2017, 
and ratified by Parliament in 2022. It's almost 10 years. So it's long year, but I think uh, even though it's long, finally we are working on it. Uh, and uh, I'm confident that within stipulated five year time frame, we will be able to complete this project. This will open further collaboration between U.S. government and Nepal through MCC uh, in coming days. I, as a finance minister, also trust that this intervention will be more than financing. It will be an example of collaboration, effectiveness, and efficiency. It will form a strong base for increased foreign investment in Nepal. Finally, on behalf of the government of Nepal, I would like to extend my sincere appreciation to the U.S. government for continued support and partnership in the development endeavor of Nepal. Thank you. Thank you very much.